dear audience welcome back i hope that you are all are fine today i am going to discuss about real numbers and the properties of real number what is the real number the number whose square is non negative is known as the real number for example The square of minus 24 is 576, which is non-negative. And that is why minus 24 is the real number. And again, the square of square root of minus 2 is minus 2, which is negative. That means it is not non-negative. And that is why it is non 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 not non-negative. And that is why square root of minus 2 is not a real number dear audience please remember that the set of real number is denoted by the special type of r always you should remember that the set of real number is denoted by this special type of r now i am going to discuss about the properties of real number the properties of real number are divided into four types. One of them is the extended axioms. Second one is the field axioms. Third one is the ordered axioms. And fourth one is the complete axioms. So firstly, I am going to discuss about the extended axioms. What is the extended axioms? The set of real number has at least two distinct members. Again, I repeat it, the set of real number has at least two distinct members. Field actions. In field actions, first of all, I am going to discuss about the field addition actions. There are five field addition actions. One of them is the closer law, associative law, existence of additive identity, existence of additive inverse, and commutative law. If we consider the two real numbers A and B, then their sum will also be the real number. And this rule is known as the closer law. And second rule is the if ABC is the real number, then A plus B within bracket plus C equals A plus B plus C within bracket. This rule is known as the associative law of the field addition actions if we consider a real number so obviously there will be a real number such real number uh, so that if we operate that means if we add that special type of real number with the um, considered real number then that real number will be exhausted that real number will be vanished yet if we add a zero plus a then zero will be vanished in a that, that means result is A. Again, if we add A with 0, then 0 will be vanished, and we'll find the result is A. And this rule is known as the uh, ex existence of additive identity. And here, 0 is called the additive identity because 0 is vanished here. Similarly, if we consider A is a real number, so obviously there exists a real number b such that their sum will be the additive identity and if we consider a and b are the additive inverse of uh, additive inverse to each other then their sum will be the obviously additive identity for an example if we consider 2 and minus 2 are the two real numbers and their sum is the uh, additive identity 0 that is why 2 and minus 2 are the uh, additive inverse to each other all real numbers satisfy the commutative law. That means if we uh, find out the sum of A and B, like A plus B and B plus A, in both cases, we'll find the result is same. So this rule is known as the commutative law. Now, I'm going to discuss about the field multiplication axioms. 
the first rule is the closure law that means if a b belongs to r then their product will be real number and if for all a b c belongs to r which implies is a b within bracket c equals a within bracket b c and if we consider a is a real number so obviously there exists a one belongs to r such that a into one or one into a equals a that means one uh, one is finished here and that is why one is the multiplicative identity similarly if we consider a and b are the two real numbers then if their product is multiplicative identity then we say that a and b are the um, multiplicative inverse to each other and this rule is known as the multiplicative inverse rule and here for an example if we consider two and half if we find out the product of two and a half then we will find the product is one and here half and two is the multiplicate inverse to each other and it also satisfy the commutative blow in case of multiplications that means a dot b equals b dot a now i'm going to talk about the field axioms um, uh, which is known also the field distributive axioms for all abc belongs to r which implies is a dot b plus c equals a dot b plus a dot c and a plus b dot c equals a dot c plus b dot c this rule is known as the field distributive axioms now ordered axioms if we consider the two real numbers a and b then either of the following will be true that means uh, a may be the more than b or a may be equal to b or a less than b a less than the b that means this rule also known as the trichotomy law and the transitivity law for if a b c belongs to error and a is more than b and b is more than c then obviously a is more than c for all a b c belongs to error a is more than b implies as a plus c more than b plus c that means if we add any number or expressions to the both side of the inequality then the direction of the inequality won't be changed similarly if we multiply both sides of an inequality by the positive number then the sign of the inequality won't be changed here i have multiplied both sides of the inequality a is more than b by c where c is the positive number and that is why the sign of inequality um, is not changed here but if i multiply both sides of the inequality by the negative number that means which number which is less than zero then the sign of the inequality will be changed here uh, a is more than b is multiplied by the negative number c then it becomes ac less than bc that means more than sign becomes the less than those uh, five rules are known as the order actions of the real number complete sections of the real number every non-empty set of real number which is bounded above has a least upper bound or supremum and every non-empty set of real numbers which is bounded below has a greatest lower bound or infimum dear audience what is the supremum and what is the infimum i will discuss in the next lessons and i hope that you could understand today's lesson and again i will come back along with a new video tutorial till then goodbye